hello guys welcome back so now we are going to add google maps on the home page so in this video you will learn how to add google map to your flutter application well for that purpose open up your browser and here create uh, add a new tab and simply go to the website pub.dev and here you have to search for google maps flutter and this first one okay google maps flutter click on installing first we have to add this dependency come back to the project pubspec.yml and simply add that dependency in here then click on pubget in order to install this google maps flutter in our flutter project so it has been added successfully now the next thing is come here to the documentation in the readme and here uh, you need to simply go to the uh, Google Developer Console click on this Google Developer Console now before clicking that make sure that you are in the same browser where you are logged in to your Gmail account that is to your Google account or in simple words where you have your Flutter project where you have your Flutter Console open okay within the same browser and also remember your project name for example in my case my project name is Flutter Uber Clone with Admin now let's click on Google Developer Console. You come, you can come here to this page directly by simply typing this URL, which is console.cloud.google.com/welcome. When you come to this page, here you will see Google Cloud at the top, and here by default some project will be uh, selected, or maybe there will no no one will be selected. All you need to do is just click on this button, okay? This three dotted button you can see. Just click here and here you have to click on all it will show you all your firebase projects okay so our project name is i already show you that is my project name is flutter Google clone with admin okay so your same project where we are implementing the backend where we have the backend data of the users and the drivers and of course in future the admins as well so that project in my case my project name is this one so i will choose my project which is flutter uber clone with admin so I will click on that so you see that flutter uber clone with admin is now selected now the next thing is you have to click on this button hamburger button and you have to click on API and services and then if you click on API and services now here you can see this library okay at the left panel under the API and services you see this library click on this library button and then in the search bar you can simply search for maps SDK press enter and you will see this maps SDK for Android first we will go with maps SDK for Android so click on maps SDK for Android and here you will see map SDK for Android and this enable button click on this enable button and do you want to restrict your key no maybe later so anyways uh, it is now enabled once the key is created that is once the api is enabled you have to make sure that from this top okay in front of this google cloud you can see this i hope you can see that okay that is these three dotted button and this drop down make sure that from here your project is selected for example our project is flutter uber clone with admin so you have to make sure that you select that project again if it is not selected okay flutter uber clone with admin you can see that make sure that select that again if it is not selected after when you enable the uh, google map api now the next thing is just to check either the uh, google map api is enabled or not or where we can see basically all the apis which we enabled for example in the future we will use also the other apis other google apis so we from where we can check you need to simply click on api and services when you click on api and services it will ask to set a billing account for your project whose name is flutter uber clone with admin so from here you have to choose your uh, billing account for example by providing your uh, credit card 
visa card or master card information so once you create your billing account it will be visible here okay or you can enable it and for example my billing account is here okay so i will choose my billing account otherwise if you are new completely new to the uh, google console then you have to create your billing account it will automatically show you the form where you can enter your visa or mastercard information and it will create account from for you so i choose my billing account i will click on set account and protect your api key maybe later and if you still don't know from where you can add your billing account then it is simple all you need to do is click on this hamburger button okay and in the when you click here you will see here billing click on billing and from here if your billing account is not set yet then it will uh, give you the direction how you can set up your billing account okay so you can uh, set your billing account from here here you have to just like provide your visa or mastercard information uh, visa card which is also known as credit card debit card okay so you can provide your information and yeah it will not charge you any amount okay they have a certain free limit and for the personal project it will not char charge you any amount because for the personal you will use it not uh, like commercially like not many user uh, will uh, during the development uh, process not many user will use this project only you are developing it only you are using it so it will not charge you okay so don't worry about that only when you blow uh, when you grow or uh, that is commercially like for example if millions of users or thousands of users start using your uh, this project only then they will charge you according to the according to the use how much people are using it okay so yeah anyways now uh, where we can check uh, that is either our API is Google map API is enabled or not well it is simple all you need to do is you need to simply come here let's go back okay to the API and services and then uh, here you will see this uh, remember you have to click on API and services okay it will redirect you to this page now here if you click on credentials you see this key okay then inside the credentials it will show you the key that is the Google map API which we enabled okay so you can see here show key button in front of this Android key auto created by Firebase just click on this show key copy this key by clicking here okay just copy this key and once you copy this key then simply come back uh, to your project inside the global global variable dot dot we can create here another variable by the name Google map key and paste it inside this double quotes so this is the map key which we assign to the Google map key variable now uh, come back to the browser now you can simply close this okay and for now we will go back to the project now the next thing is we have to go to the Android app SRC main inside the main we have Android manifest.xml file now here at the bottom we have to add the metadata now from where we will get that well if you go back to the documentation of the package which we add Google Maps Flutter so the first thing which is minimum SDK version it is already 24 or greater than 24 in our project according to our project needs and then the next thing is this metadata so just copy this metadata come back to your project and above this application ending tag you can see this ending application tag we can pass that here okay and if you see here your key here in here we have to add our key our map key Google map key so from the um, global variable dot dot file just copy this key which is our Google map key and we will paste it here okay once you pass the key 
we have completed the Google Maps setup for our Flutter project. Now in the next video we will display the Google Map on our home page.